What's going on, After Buzz TV? You knocked and we are buzzing you in. Tonight on Married to Medicine LA, we've got truth, trust, transparency, and a very special guest. Coming up next on After Buzz TV. You're tuned in to After Buzz TV, the ESPN of TV talk. Now, let the buzz begin. Mm. Okay. This song needs some bass. Thank you for the fix. You know, oh, this is fancy. <laughs> this is, mm. Mm. I don't know to be mm. scared or be excited. Mm. I think she get excited because mm. we're oh, about to okay. get real, real hot. Oh, yeah. Sundays at live. Oh, Let's there. talk about Sunday. Oh, oh, oh I'm sorry. Oh. I'm back yeah. at work. I'm back at work. You're right. What's going on, everybody? Welcome to After Buzz TV presents Married to Medicine LA. Snap, 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 snaps. We are officially like in this. No more. We don't know anything. We're in it. After Buzz TV presents Marriage Medicine LA. I'm your lead host, McCall Hall, and I have a very special guest to my left. But before we get to our special guest, I want to give it up to my very special co host, Sierra. Ooh, ooh, yes, ooh, hey guys, ooh, it's me, Sierra Stafford. You know, we're back and we're ready because we have some, some specialness here, you know, if oh. you know what that means. <laughs> so, so yeah, I, I, I just believe, you know, um, back in the day, I used to love the movie uh, Original Kings of Comedy. And remember when Steve Harvey used to bring them out? You know, he'd bring them I out. I haven't seen that yet. Okay. So, 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 so let me set this up just. <laughs> just right for y'all okay put you on the spot. okay so to sierra's right we have a member of, of alpha cap alpha yes. sorority incorporated yes. okay, just okay. i just had to say that first and foremost off top. we love the deltas though we love the deltas we do love the we deltas, do. We we love love the deltas. Off top, okay? thank you we love them a member of the illustrious organization alpha cap alpha sorority incorporated right. a a very distinguished cast member of Married to Medicine keep, keep Los going, Angeles, okay? okay. She's back. also a graduate of Howard University. Girl, and on Wednesday... I was Miss Howard University. And Miss oh, Howard University. Just, you know. Add the credential hey, now. Add hey, that credential. If you're going to read the receipts, go ahead and read it. Read, read fully, the receipts. Add the text, okay? Because uh, I, uh, I won that thing. Okay. <laughs> a dedicated wife to Dr. Larry. Yes, okay, man. word up. Shout out to Dr. Man. Larry. All right? Like and this Wednesday is Sunday now. So get your DVR set. Because you can also see this woman on Fox's hit show Star. All right, so everybody, this give it a, up for Mrs. This Asha is a wonderful Kamali mm -hmm. Blankenship. Now, how much do I owe you after this? About twelve dollars. Okay, because that was plus tax. Because oh, I know they're gonna charge <laughs> me for that. I know you charging me for I that. I just want to make sure people was, know boy, it's not just who we got married home. to medicine. Boy. You know, it's Hollywood. There are a lot of people like, I'm an actress. This is a working actress. Well, okay? you know. Well, you know, you you you. Uh, you know, you work, and then sometimes you don't work. And sometimes you, know you don't. You know what I'm saying? But I here's the most importantly, I'm trained. Trained. Right. I'm which trained, is, and I'm ready to work. Which is what I, I but, can say. But that's a nice comment, because I am working. Absolutely. So, Absolutely. Man, that's all that matters. It. I appreciate it. Absolutely. Thank you. She, she is trained, unlike some of her co Member stars. Uh -oh. um, anyway, let's just get into that. Yeah, let's just get into it. So, first of all, um, Sierra, do we have any hot news tonight? You know, um, I think you got all the tea tonight. All um, the tea? All the tea has been spread on the table. Yes, and I don't spill over. tea, I spill Hennessy. Hmm. I, I might have to leave. <laughs> It was nice me, y'all. It was nice. I don't have any um, tonight. I do not have any tonight. But absolutely. I just have coffee. Am yeah. I going to be okay? Yeah. I think you're going to be no, fine. No, trust me. You're going to be good. Okay. You, you, are with, you are with family. You okay. are with family. We got um, you covered, for sure. I myself. Is this vodka? Did y'all put vodka? <laughs> yeah. You said you wanted vodka, right? You said you wanted to be lit, right? You want to chase Come on, let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. So, truth, trust, and transparency theme tonight. But I actually have some sub-themes I want to get into. Kids. Okay. Sisterly relations, which we'll get into that, <laughs> and drugs. But why don't we start with the drugs? drugs. Before yeah. we talk about the kids, let's talk about the drugs. Wow. Uh, tonight's episode, we were able to see a little bit more of Jasmine's home and the discussion around how did she obtain a house like that. Mm. Now, if you want to give us a little behind-the-scenes action... If you can. If you can, if you're allowed uh, to, please do not hesitate. Oh, well, what do you, I don't, is there a question there? No, 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 I just want you to know, as we're discussing this, <laughs> if you feel like you need to, you know, just, chime in, don't hesitate. I appreciate it. I don't, I don't have a problem with, uh, you know, jumping in. Absolutely. That's, but yes. So you. Dr. Imani stick into her script. They meet up at the restaurant. Dr. Imani is convinced this house does not belong to a psychiatrist. This house belongs to a drug dealer. Mm -hmm. That information <clears> gets <throat> back to Jasmine by way of messy, mm, Shanique, Miss mm -hmm. Piggy. So, here's the thing. There's an old saying. Oh, damn. No, no, no. I, I didn't <laughs> say. I didn't, okay. I didn't say Miss Piggy. They said well, Miss Piggy, and I'm just Where's repeating the what they sign? said on the show. Piggy I'm just this. repeating Oof. things, just like Shanique repeats things. A well. dog that'll 
bring a bone wall, so take a bone and vice versa. Mm, Ooh, that makes me one. very uncomfortable mm. about Shanique. Mm. So, two things. Mm. Who's right, who's wrong? Sierra, I'm going to kick it to you first. Number one, is Imani Ooh. right for making such a strong claim about mm. Jasmine's home? And then on the flip side, where does Shanique fall in the blame? Mm. Okay, so I'm just have to be honest. You know I love me some Dr. Money. I love the realness. I, I, I love the rawness. Yes. Mm -hmm. And I don't yes. think she was trying to make a jab. She was just making an honest statement. Mm -hmm. Like, it looks like a drug dealer's mm -hmm. house. You have to understand, these, these are doctors. They know what doctor houses look like, apparently. They said this is not a, a doctor's tax bracket. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, it kind of sounds like some facts behind that. So, I mean, you can't call them, you know, <laughs> kind of shun them for saying how they see it. Absolutely. So, I don't blame her. No, I don't. Now, Miss Shanique, on the other hand, you know, um, that's, her, <laughs> that's her friend, so of course you're going to back her up, of course. And let's be real, though. If you have a best friend, right? Let's Okay, Miss Dr. Noel, right? Mm -hmm. Your best friend, you're, you're going to tell your best friend everything. Mm -hmm. So I'm not surprised, honestly, that Shanique went back and told mm -hmm. Jasmine that because, I mean, that's what a best friend would do. Mm -hmm. So that didn't surprise me either. It's just a matter of how are they going to digest this conversation when they got in Trent's face, which we're going to see that yeah. next week. Gotcha, so. gotcha. So, so... Uh, I see both sides. Sora Asha. Yes, Sora. May, may I? May I? You may. Can you clarify a couple of things for me? Because the, the subtitles and all that on the show, sometimes yeah. they go so quickly and I don't sure. catch it, right? <laughs> sure. So clarify your husband's mm. classification okay. as a doctor and then also clarify for us Jasmine's husband's okay. uh, doctor okay. status. So my husband is a physiatrist. Okay, it means physical medicine, right? Okay. I don't know so what that is. he's also you can think of like sports medicine. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. He does spinal injuries, joint pain, back pain. Gotcha. It's physical medicine. That gotcha. is the specialty. It's okay. so it's not a psychiatrist. Okay. okay, so I actually did. Uh, I, I was not a spelling major, so it's think physical. It's spelled like physical, mm -hmm. and then trist. Okay, right? or money. Physiatrist. What'd you so, Last so he's a he, he's a physical <laughs> doctor, yes. and then Jasmine's husband is a, a psychiatrist. So they're both just MDs. like my mother. Oh, your mom's a yeah. So oh, this okay. is why I just wanted to get some clarification because oh, I'm going to get my oh, take on this. This the plot thickens. It does. Okay. So, so I've said this now, I think mm -hmm. this is my second episode, because I just want to make sure okay. I'm reading the screen correctly. Mm -hmm. So it says that Jasmine's husband is a psychiatrist. Mm -hmm. My mother, psychiatrist. Mm -hmm. My dad worked in the public school system, eventually got his way into the on the administrative side, but my mom was a psychiatrist. Okay. We had a decent life. But, like, psychiatrist money is it's not surgeon money. It's not going to the ER and, mm -hmm. and, and you know, saving someone's life, Right. Well, the here's the thing about doctors, and again, I'm I you know I'm a doctor's wife, so there's an inside um, understanding, right? People pick specialties based on how much they're going to make. Yeah. They also, do. based on what their interests are. Right. So everybody's very clear with with how much specialties make. You know how much cardiologists make. Absolutely. You know how much physiatrists make, right? Physical mm -hmm. medicine. You know. So yes, psychiatrists are known to not make what a a heart surgeon makes, right? Or a cardiologist. They're no because the schooling is also different. It There's is different, different years and levels, and you know. So all that to say, that's that issue. I think for Jasmine, I think the 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 cloud around her because I actually really like Jasmine to be honest. I mean, she, I think she has a poor choice, poor choice in friends, but I think she's a nice young lady. You might be on an island by yourself with that one. Well, I mean, I don't, I, I did, actually don't think she knows who she is yet. I, oh, I don't yeah, think I, she, I agree with I you there. I again, I'm pretty. Yeah, I mean, again, I'm, you're talking to somebody who's <laughs> almost 40. You understand what I'm saying? So, a Jasmine, to me, that she's, she's a young woman to yeah. me. So, yeah. you don't know who you are at 29, 30, a lot of times. I mean, she's old enough to get it, right. but we're all on our own walk, okay? Yeah. The issue is that Jasmine, we don't know anything about Jasmine. So the issue is that even though we're all friends, you know, I would say the more you get to know Jasmine, the less you know. Mm. Oh, I've that's so the we opposite. Have, we have never, I've never met her husband, ever. Right. So this is what's contributing so to this drug that's the, allegation. And, and also let me clear up that Dr. Imani did not say he's a drug dealer. No. Dr. Imani said a joke and said, this house looks like a drug dealer house. Exactly. Because She's talking about the decor. She's talking about the choices of the house, right? There's velvet on the walls. There's a lot of things you all don't, you know. And I'm, again, it sounds like I'm, I mean, it would be my choice, right? Because I don't know if you, I don't know if you. Your home it. looks lived in and loved in. Well, literally, literally, like, 
it looks <laughs> like you and your husband came together, picked the home. And it's perfect for you guys. Well, I'm going to keep it real with you. I don't decor. even live there anymore. I, we, we moved, just bought a new home. Amen. Oh, excuse God. me. Amen. Because okay. them TV, hey, the those TV hey. checks coming in. Hey, hey. hey. So we actually just built a home. So what y'all watching is like uh, eight months ago. I don't even know what. I don't remember that. Congratulations. You know? so, well yes, congratulations. I, I do appreciate it. But I think that's the issue with Jasmine. I think it was a bad joke. Free money. I told her that. I thought it was a bad joke, especially for a Jasmine who I don't think can handle that joke. So is her husband. Yeah. So here's my next question. Mm -hmm. Just And if you can't answer it, it's sure. fine. Jasmine's husband is the same age as Jasmine, or is he a little bit older? You don't even know that. Let me. Do I, do you do you have, know can his I name? Do, he's got four can families. I do the emoticon? I'm not I, sure. I don't know how old. I don't That's know. A question. I've never. I've actually never had a conversation. So you've never met him. So it feels odd to talk about a man, and it feels a bit not disrespectful, but you know, I've never met him. So for me to be like, well, let me tell you, I don't even. I've never laid eyes. We've never had a conversation. I don't know ever. Do you know so, his name? I met all the husbands. So I want to go back to Married to Medicine. I do know his name. I will tell you that I was asked not to say his name. Okay. And, and that's, that's fair. Fine. No, that's and that's fine. fair. Yeah. That's so. fair. But I'm asking some of these questions just so I can get clarification sure. because you can't pull the wool over everybody's eyes, mine in particular. He's a psychiatrist. We don't know that's his name. Know. We don't. So I want to compare this to Married to Medicine ATL. Dr. Okay. Eugene, okay? Toya and Eugene. He's always showing up late, just like um, Heavenly's <laughs> husband, Daddy. He's all... And, I think his name is Damon. Lord, I'm. It is. Damon. I, yeah. I, it slips <laughs> my mind's day. I just think of daddy. But they would show up late to events and whatnot mm -hmm. because they were sure. in surgery or whatever the case. I'm sorry. I am the child of a psychiatrist. My mother was home every night by seven o'clock. I, again, I don't, I don't, here's the thing, you know when you meet somebody There's and you're no like. There's no emergency psychiatry. I'll put it this way. You know how you're like, oh, oh, what do you do? Oh, my husband mm -hmm. is in specialty. Oh, okay. And he's also, you know, he's a, he owns 35 hotels or, you know, you, you give. He clearly uh, owns a Bentley car dealership well, because they have four of them I sitting outside. I do know that I have been told that he is a businessman. That's, oh, that's okay. all. I, and I, I really wish I was like holding back and not telling y'all stuff. I really like it's like cocaine I, is a lucrative business. You know what? So um, I'm gonna move on. So wait, yeah. I'm gonna move on. <laughs> you know what? Wait, I don't care. Wait, 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 I don't care. Yeah, and I, you yeah. didn't say it. No, yeah, I, I said didn't. it. No, I don't. Put the camera I mean, on me right now. I don't. Uh, I, yeah. McCall Hall said <laughs> yeah, that I didn't say. cocaine is a lucrative business. I didn't say that. I'm picking up on some <laughs> no. things that are, are making me believe that that white white is contributing but, to that. But okay, McCall, but I will say this, and I'm not trying to take it too deep because I know the fans like that, you know, you want that drama. The fans are the feds. But let me say this. The fans are the feds. Oh, I also don't want to be caught up in taking a black man down. I'm going to keep it real with you. As much as, and this has come from somebody, Jasmine has been like going after me. She has. So for all intents and purposes, I should be like, that bit, like, I should be here, like, right? But I'm just being you, 100. Well, I'm, I'm just, and I'm not trying to get a fan. I really don't care, you know, who likes me, who doesn't. Well, yeah, of course. But where I am is that I don't want to participate in it. I think we can make jokes about it. Girl, we ain't seen your husband. Is he El Chapo? I mean, that's funny, right? I saw a Scarface poster in their house. Okay. I swear but, I saw a Scarface poster. But beyond but the feds and cocaine, I don't, like, that man went to medical school, and I know the work that takes. So let me put on record that Ashka Shanique, Jeb, don't call me. Okay, don't call me. Say I said your man sells cocaine because I didn't say that. You can call me. Okay, go ahead. Um, and so, resume. <laughs> okay. Because yeah. I, show, I show don't Disclaimer. want no text. I don't want a text message because I might, it's going to be, girl, don't text me. And, I can, and of all people, I should, be I should be telling it and saying, okay. You should. And, and that's the sign of a mature woman. And I'm, that's a why. A grown I, ass woman. Grown I love ass, it. Mature exactly, woman. That's, that's, that's what I'm saying. I just want to make sure we're show. clear. Absolutely. I, yeah. That's why I, I do it. appreciate I your presence on this show. So I want to move on and let's let's lighten. Let's lighten the mood, yeah, let's shall let's we? Just up. a little Let bit. Let me get some of this, this drink. drink. I might take this leather off. Listen. Yeah, it's, this not, is, it's not as cold as I wish they would have told me this was going to be. I may not have come today. So no, let's talk about let's talk about kids real quick. Um, I, I was told it was, a, it was an entertaining show. It is. I mean, it, this, look, we're real. We keep it real. We're Boy, super do fans. You. <laughs> so I want to talk about um, the role. Can we that, go to commercial though? No, it, no, no, oh, okay. no commercial breaks. We're we're rolling all Sorry, the way through. Okay. Um, but, but the kids. So Shanique's got you know issues with her kids getting bullied. You've got Britain's situation with her kids just not seeing her. Mm -hmm. And then we we see Noelle's daughter for the first time, who's adorable, mm -hmm. and her father's a, a superintendent, assistant superintendent. No, he's actually. A and college administrator. Okay, He's actually wonderful. The okay, vice cool. president of a college. Oh, Even better. Super Even dope. better. See, you know how to pick them. Mm -hmm. uh, so I want to talk about um, Britain's children. So Britain brought up something really cool okay. uh, and, and a great point that I want to bring up. Britain said, "Look, 
I love the field that I'm in. You talked about it earlier. Everybody has like that part of medicine that they enjoy, yes. right? Mm -hmm. Right. And so for her being an anesthesiologist allows her to have the mommy schedule, 7 a.m. to 3 p.m., right? Yes. Um, what does Mac do and how do you see their relationship and her career mm -hmm. blending once Mac and the kids get here for totally. her to ma to maintain what she enjoys. Is that for me? Th oh, that's for okay. you. Okay. Um, <laughs> you know, well, Mac, he has, Brittany and Mac have, they, they're really smart and that they have figured out they don't, they like freedom, mm -hmm. right? She's sacrificed early. Both of them sacrificed early so they could have this lifestyle. So Mac mm -hmm. is a in real estate. He flips homes. He doesn't have, he can do, you know, mm -hmm. he can live anywhere. I think he flips homes all over the country. Okay. So he's That's very cool. successful as well. Okay. Um, I think, you know, Dr. Britton, she's very thoughtful. She's very strategic. Um, Dr. Britton also really likes money. Uh, so, and that's why I know, like Dr. Uh, Britton. And that's why, I, and that's why I like her as well. <laughs> she she knows what she wants. And um, I think that they're in a position where they move differently. I think when you have <clears throat> wealth equals freedom. Mm -hmm. So when you can just say, oh, well, I'm going to do this, and I'm moving here, and I don't really want to be here because it's not that much. I think people who are, don't have freedom will be like, but girl, what are you doing now? You should stay there. It's like you can just do that. Absolutely. You know? so, so I, I asked that question to kind of set up the next piece, okay. right? Mm -hmm. Um who should, and I, I won't ask you this because I put okay. you on the spot a okay. little bit. Thank I'm gonna, I'm gonna throw this to Sierra because I don't, I don't want to get you in trouble with your, with your castmates and all yeah. that. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I mean, I'm, you know, these are, get, these are your I'm friends. So they might could be in my house when I get home. Right. You like, know, listen, you know. let's talk about the house books. that she paid for and built. Okay. Amen. It's true. With legit money. It's true. Ask the feds. Uh, Sierra. <laughs> so Max, preference for mm -hmm. where he wants them to live, right? <clears throat> Do you think that Mac's preference should be the priority or should it be Britain's? And I bring that up because Britain has to commute to work. She mm -hmm. wants to maintain the 7 a.m. to 3 p.m. lifestyle. If she moves to the boonies, I'm sorry, that's out mm -hmm. the window. Mm -hmm. exactly. As somebody who lives all of seven miles away from my employer, I mm -hmm. love that. Mm -hmm. Like, you cannot beat living in the heart of the city mm -hmm. when you're in your car all the time. Mm -hmm. So who should defer to who? Well, I'm going to kind of reverse that a little bit because I actually had a problem. Now, why are you asking? You married? No. no Neither one of us are married. Oh, okay, go no, ahead. No, no, no. I'd like to hear the single girl's perspective. Go ahead. So, but, like okay, it. so because actually when I was watching, I didn't like his tone. I didn't like the fact that he was oh. like, we need to get a house in the, in the country. First of all, sir, we're going to talk together because <laughs> you're my husband, not my dad. So that was the first thing I didn't like. There's a Kelly Price song about that, too. Okay, mm -hmm. I like that. Because he was like basically saying, we need to have it my way. Mm -hmm. Forget what you want. Go look for that house in the country. So that's kind of the vibe I got, and I didn't like that. Mm -hmm. And then she said, I want to be in the city. You know, my job is here. Obviously, there's not jobs in the country or you know, whatever, you know, I'm trying to say. So I think they need to have a communication. It's not there for me. And it's like, if she doesn't find a house by this time, what's going to happen? Right. Like what? Because what it sounded it sounded like an ultimatum. It definitely yeah. sounded like an ultimatum. I, I guess for me, I want them I to like find it. some resolution there because her kids seem to miss her. Yeah. For good reason. Mm -hmm. And I just think that the kids, number one, need both parents. Mm -hmm. I don't think this is totally natural. That's just my opinion. So I want to see them be, get into the same city. I just don't know if Mac is going to be able to relinquish some of that control. But I, I hope to God Britain doesn't give up. I do have that. a question, though. So it's like my question is, is the house now too small for them to come now and they just come look together? Yeah, oh, I'm, right. I'm, I'm perplexed right. as like, to what's the my, problem My the question house. is, if you're, if you're so caught up in what you want, come look with me. If I'm not moving fast enough, if it's not what well, you want. Well, it's probably schedules. You know, yeah. the kids are in school. You know what I mean? So these days, you know, you can't just pull kids out of school. Yeah. So he's there because they they're in this school. They want to find, I think, or the good, because that's how I talked to her about a good school district. Yeah. It's just so many. It's a, it's, of course, it's a budget. It's, you know, where's her job going to be? It's what, you know, it's so many factors. Um, factors, I think, especially with children, that they're just, okay. I think it's, and, and, you know, you guys don't see everything. You know, they put in what you, you know, they oh, put yeah, in. We, was, so, oh, yeah, yeah. So I'm sure that, you know, it's probably some more stuff, like, you know, I don't know. But it, I, I do hope that Britain figures it out because, yeah. um, you know, that's stressful. But I do, I will, I love that Dr. Britton says, look, men do this every day. You yeah. know, there's a lot that's of men who are gone. Yeah. They are gone the whole week. And no one says anything. Not a damn. Right? So, you know, and I think that Britain should be giving license to do this. Anybody who goes to school for 16 years or more mm -hmm. and brings home the salary she does, yep. I think that 
Max should be supportive, and I think he is. But I, I think just like if that was a man who was a, a NSC dollars, everybody like, well, that man, girl, you going he gonna he, leave you exactly. You, need to <laughs> you, better, what he says. you better not right. So it's like let's give her license. She has done the work. You all know. Like, oh, you, absolutely. You all absolutely. know how much work and time you're yes. at school. Yeah, so she's like, look, holla. Yeah, absolutely. No, no. <laughs> so so speaking of all the kids, mm -hmm. I know that, you know, your your road to motherhood has definitely been a topic on this show. Mm -hmm. Have you had the opportunity to babysit any of your cast members, former or current cast members' friends? Oh, no, kids, I don't. Rather? I mean, unless you're paying, I'm not, I don't babysit. So you don't babysit at all? <laughs> I no, with a check, no, okay? No, 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 no. I mean, unless they're my, if they're blood, you know what I'm saying? I have a niece now. Yeah, that, but no, no. These people, these people have budgets. They don't, you, let me tell you something. <laughs> These people, just have, for practice. these people have nannies. They have, they're not calling me. Just for practice. Uh, I have, Gabby has been over my house. So Gabby is. Gabby but, is uh, Noel. Noel's. Dr. Noel's, yeah. But I mean, that's Noel and I are, it's different. Yeah, right? of course. You know, so, but I actually, to be honest, the kids on this show, like, I love Kayla. Uh, she's so cute. Shanique's daughter. Um, and little RJ. Me and my husband actually always talk about how cute RJ is. He yeah, is I very said, cute. I said, he is he's so, so cute. I mean, his, he's always like, ah! Like when you see him in person, yeah. like I think he's like the star of the show. He's so he has so much personality. Yeah, like he has all these. Like I think he's super cute. Um, I love Britain's kids. I'm a kids person. Like it, Larry and I love kids, so we're always like, oh my god, like Ivory and Miney, they're so cute. Now Britain loves that son. Now she loves Ivory too. But you know that mama's boy. Mm -hmm. I said, yeah. ooh, when that when that son gets married. Yeah, I'm uh -oh. gonna call her. I'm gonna say, "Girl, yeah. you all right?" Definitely so. But yeah, so I love the kids on the show. Is that everybody? So yeah, you girl. said you have a a new niece because your do. sister's in the building with us tonight. You it's guys, not can't... her though. Okay, no, my so sister your other Chicago. sister, the yes. other the other sister that's I'm not auntie. Great. Okay, okay. Uh, they so call me. They call me Miasha. Two or three sisters. My God, I have two sisters. I have two, two older sisters. Two older sisters. Two One is maybe. also an AK. Yes. The other one is not. She's not. But she, okay. But she didn't do anything else. You know, she didn't go the wrong way. I'm sorry, the other <clears> way. <throat> so just so you guys know, it's about the deltas in the building. We so gotta, I might get we jumped. Gotta, we gotta cut the show. I might get jumped afterwards. We can't yes, record can't this. See this. It's a delta <laughs> and it's a zeta in the building. Okay. Yeah. We can't record this. We can't see this, but, <laughs> but we have. But me and McCall, at, at the end know. of the day, we okay, gonna, so we gonna have a step show as hmm. soon as the as soon as the show is over. Uh -oh. We got a DST oh, in the building, AK in the building, Z5B in the building. And let me not forget, my sister's also my lawyer in the building. She's my lawyer too. You see what I'm saying? Protected. We're going to protect We're protected. We're protected. We're protected. I've got my management in here. Look, look. All right. Look, what y'all want now? So, so the, sis the, sister, the sisterhood in this room runs deep. It Almost does. as it deep as the though. sisterly relations that Dr. Imani calls. So let's talk about this. Number one, Ooh. sisterly relations is a term that I had only heard as a member of Elf Cap Alpha Sorority Incorporated. I've been using that word with the ladies because Delta, um, Delta. Britain and I okay, are the only. Mind. Mind. It is because I love the ladies of the red and white. Um, the I red do and actually. White? Red and white. Well, I'll let white? you have it. Yeah, you're. Right. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. Crimson and cream. Yes, I'm sorry. <laughs> Look, hey, crimson and cream. I was gonna Thank say you. something, but I'm trying right. to keep the peace. No, I, no, actually, I, my, some of my best friends are Deltas, to be honest. But Britain and I are are the only uh, Greek. So before we, like, in between film and we film, we always get together for sister relations. Absolutely. So that's where the term the term came from. Gotcha. Like we're we're a little sorority within ourselves. I think Britain and I kind of really lead that charge. So if Dr. Imani were Greek, what organization would she belong to? Oh, I think I think Dr. Imani. I, I think I would have to go with your soror. I think I would too. I would put it there. I think with I us. would have to go to, with your soror. I Absolutely. love Dr. Imani. I, I think. love her. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. So and her and her mother is a Delta. Oh, okay. So oh, that makes okay. Sense. So that makes sense. Has to her be. mother is a, is, a, is a big boss of like. I'm gonna tell you who her mother is after this. Okay. okay. Her yes, mother is the big boss it. of all Deltas everywhere that exist. So you need to know her. I mom. need to know her. Okay. <laughs> Me spill the tea on Imani because I let me just say this tell your viewers to Google Imani, okay? Google her mom, like Imani's family. Okay, you're talking about black excellence. Oh, I love it. Like, it's no mistake why Imani is who he is. I mean, she is gotcha. It's no like, like if you Google, yeah, that's all I got to say. That's, no, and that's she all she, but she I'm does carry herself very oh, well. It's, it's very impressive. She's yeah, from one very. of those families. So, I love it. I love yes, it. So, I want to talk is. about the sisterly, sisterly mm. relations because I definitely want to talk about your career and how you've gotten to this place. But mm. before we get there, let's talk about that portion of the show. You've got everybody showing up to have crudite and everything else. I thought it was going to be a good time. I, I thought it was going to be a great time, I actually too. Thought, I actually thought it was over. I mean, at that point for me, I was like, okay, you know, the ex came. I spoke my, I mean, I left, whatever. I didn't like what happened. I saw her at the dollhouse, Shanique. I was so, like, did she, I, so, so I, let's I, be real. Shanique 
and Jasmine roll up. They drive together in one of 20 of the Bentleys. I don't know which Bentley it was. And um, they're they're ready to go to war. They are legit they really ready to go to war. Like so, so tell us, for those she of us... It. Who are I, watching from home? Explain the I, energy. You know when somebody walks into the room, and you just know their energy's like off. That. Tell us about the energy when they walked well, in. Well, Noel and I, I remember looking at Noel like, "What's going on?" Because they walked in like, uh, ten. you know, I even I remember I said hello to them. Um, I don't think the camera got this, and I didn't get a hello back. And at that moment, I said, "What's going on?" Like she hard to hear. Um, like, what's going on? So I don't know. I, it was. Again, I was actually coming to have a good time. I mean, I had on my, you know, I was actually ready. You look fantastic. I, to turn out. I actually had my scripts. I was, I took the moment before. I was studying for all day. I was just, I was chilling. I was like, hey, y'all, what's, I didn't, y'all, like, you talking about being caught by a surprise? Like, I, I had no idea what yeah. was going on. Absolutely. None. So, so it seems like these two young ladies, well, maybe older, I don't know how old they are. They wanted, I think Shanique's about 37 or, you know, you're a little younger than me. I'm 39. Maybe she's two or three years younger. And then Jasmine, I think, is like, Late twenties or thirty. Okay. Yeah, 30, okay. Yeah. So, so Jasmine and yeah. it's closer to our age. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This is why I get upset with Jasmine because she's you're the same age. she's too damn old to be performing like this. Are y'all the yeah. same age as Jasmine? No, really. No, I'm younger. Oh, okay. she's younger. Yeah. I'm, I'm younger. You're about I'm, I'm, I'm thirty. Yeah. Well, maybe you're you're more advanced thirty because you're maybe. I went to college. Exactly. I think Jasmine went to college too, though. I I didn't know. Uh, I think she did. Anywho. I really think she did. No, really. Anywho, I, I won't pull her credentials. Um, so I want to talk about yeah, do. the, I mean, the fact is... that, I want to talk about the fact that, number Yo, one, Jay it was brought directly to you all that Imani said this stuff, what I thought should have been in confidence. So again, a dog that'll bring a bone will take a bone and vice versa. Did you fear any kind of violence in that moment? I did. Did you think that Imani was going to react in a way? Well, and, I, and I'm going to get to you. Well, I'll be honest. Okay, because I felt it for myself, but that's another um, Yeah, I was going to ask you that issue. next. But for mm -hmm. them, um, yes, yes, I was very concerned. I know I know Imani's mother, um, just because I respect her. I know Imani, you know, well, and I knew Imani wouldn't do anything. I don't know Jasmine as well, mm -hmm. um, but I was concerned. But okay. I knew Imani wouldn't. Imani has too much to lose. I mean, I just knew she right. wouldn't. Um, Even if she's pushed that. Because I feel like my girl got some steam under her. Like, she, she might steam. hold it in, but she don't mind letting it out. Well, Imani is too smart. That's the thing. When okay. you can use words, like, Imani can probably okay. annihilate somebody with words. Absolutely. And she's I, very, very, very bright. And we haven't seen that yet, so maybe we'll see, you know, we'll see yes. that. Okay, so cool, cool. Absolutely. Yes. So, so everybody clears that all up, and mm -hmm. they go over, and they have this sit down. Mm -hmm. And this is where I cringed a little okay. bit. Um... <clears throat> I was not a fan of Jasmine mm -hmm. making such a strong accusation about your husband. Now, I want to be very Is it trans Jasmine or Shanique? Shanique. Well, Shanique. Yes. Okay. Um, making such a strong allegation about right. your husband. So here's here's what I want to talk about. Mm -hmm. And and I will be very transparent. I'm please. critical of everybody on every show. Please, there please. last week I had a slight issue with with your reaction about the yeah. lady being there. Okay. Absolutely. Absolutely. I, I thought you should have just sent her a drink. Okay. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. Like <laughs> right. if your ex shows up, just, right. or your, yeah. your man's ex, right, right. just send him a drink. Right. Right. Don't don't, in my opinion, look sure. pressed about it. Okay. Um Well, I don't think I was pressed, but we'll we No, no, about I don't it. think you were pressed, yeah. but the fact that there was any kind of conversation right. about it, I didn't quite understand. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Um but I want to talk about them making such a strong allegation. Well, here's what I have to say, just in general. Um, and not to pull the, the, the wall back, but you know, nothing on camera happens uh, by that, mistake. Yes. Okay, so we'll just say that. So there's all of that happening, mm -hmm. right? So when you bring an ex to in this camera, like, you know, come on. It's like, gonna it, be it, it, you know, You know, people, people gotta get mic'd up. You understand, yeah, yeah. this is nothing. Yeah. So me being an actress, I kinda, you know, I see things differently. Right. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. So I see, what I see what's happening. Oh, right. I saw. And Shanique did tell me that, gave me a heads up. She did. I actually called Shanique first, though. I called her, long story short. I said, hey, well, Heavenly's coming. And she said, by the way, you know, I don't know if you heard the news. I said, what news? She said, the ex That's is she coming. Talks she said, the ex is coming. <laughs> and, I said, and I said, thanks for the heads up. And at that moment, I was, she was my friend at that point. I said, I'm going to go show up. I have nothing against this ex. I actually never have really heard of this ex. I mean, I... I, I never, I don't, I never really knew her name. Like it, this has not been a part of my love story. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I mean? So when I show up, I hear, you know, all of this happening, and I walk up and I say, what? and Shanique's like, we're talking about the X, okay? And it's like 25 cameras around. I'm like, and I'm trying to again. I'm from the south side of Chicago. 
Can I'm from the South, period. Same high school okay. as Michelle and Obama. Okay, <laughs> thank you. But, she, but I know M Michelle is also called Shelly from the South Side. South right. Side Shelly. And we're going to get into that, okay. you know. I'm South Side Asha, okay? All right. Tell them, okay. tell them now. So <laughs> I come over, and I don't know if you want, you got to pick up on, you know, she's the one that was like, we're talking about the ex. And I was like, like, I said, so well, that caught you off guard. Yeah, and I said, oh, I said, well, who invited her? Because I wanted her, to, I do, I wanted her to say on camera that she created the mess. I did. So you got me there. <laughs> okay? <laughs> you got me. Because I want, I said, well, who invited her? And she said, well, I did. My, it's my husband's party. I mean, it was, y'all. She thought she was trying to get a role on Days and And I was just like, I mean, exactly. so, again, if there was a real issue, you guys, uh, I would have probably not come to the party. If I really had the, it, this ex and this girl, like, I came because I, it's no issue with this girl. Mm -hmm. And if it was an issue, I probably would have went over to her. Girl, what you doing here? Because mm -hmm. you've been talking to my husband calling him. <laughs> right? It wasn't that. So all of this is, like, they're untruths. Like, I've never heard any of this stuff, and I feel like, I don't know, to be honest, I'm baffled by Shanique, because we were friends. Shanique and her husband have taken us to dinner. Mm -hmm. I mean, so, it, I, I'm baffled. I don't know. Like, all this TMZ. I think fame, you know that movie, Fame is a Hell of a Drug. And, and Jasmine knows a lot about that. And that's why I should make friends. I can't. And Jasmine girl, knows a lot about this that. This girl. So, <laughs> like, again, maybe maybe your husband's selling fame. I don't know. I don't know. But something's not hmm. right. Uh, Same groups. <laughs> I was I was talking about shit. We know what you're I'm, saying. It's okay. I'm you're not talking about Shanique. <laughs> you're clear. It's I'm okay. talking about Shemessi right now. That's who I'm talking about. So are we. Her friend. I, I, think, okay. I think that she is very much Shemessi. So, so. Here, so here's a couple of things that mm -hmm. just, let's just talk women how we sure. relate what is acceptable what is good etiquette mm -hmm. not everything yeah. that you say has to be brought back and also sometimes if you know something you don't necessarily need to just blurt it out right so i want to go back to the whole editing thing in your opinion how much do you think that producers and editors mm -hmm. have played into your guys' storyline and how it's getting pushed i mean i think it's to be honest i've been a fan of reality tv not a fan but i like, watch yeah. you know just like yo i watch mm -hmm. right um, I have a real problem with black women on reality TV, to be quite honest, which was hard for me to be on the show, because I, I have a problem with the lack of, of of layering. Like, it's okay to have the girl that's like, girl, girl, get the... Right, but we need to see, we need to mm -hmm. see all different all types, types of black absolutely. women. We're the only one that has one archetype. So mm -hmm. that's my issue. Now I will say for um, the producers, I think it's a whack thing to do in blame mm -hmm. editing, right? Mm -hmm. Because the camera, here's what I... Okay, let me give y'all. Let me give y'all a quick edit acting class. Okay. The camera catches it all. The camera is a mistress. She hangs on to your every word. Ooh. So whatever. Okay. Well, I'm just telling you. So whatever yeah. they cut out, if your intention is to be nasty, right? If your intention is to be messy, if your intention is to be nice, mm -hmm. the camera will catch it. And then fans are smarter than than anybody. The people, the viewers will catch it. We are, and this we, is why. That's how we catch it. We so I don't I'm blame editing because it's a lot of stuff. You know, they didn't put in. So when you say, "Oh, well, you, I, you know, you didn't defend your," or "Why did you?" Yeah, of course I defended myself. Of course I said, "Girl, I've been married for two years. What's your point?" Of course that, that didn't make it right, but I st I'm not gonna. I don't. You know what I mean? I can't blame editing because I know the camera will catch who I am and who my husband is. Now, out of curiosity, when you got so, married, you said you've been married what two years now? Two and a half now. Were mm -hmm. any of the ladies at your wedding? Noel. Noel was at my bridal shower. Okay. Mm -hmm. But the rest of them were not there. No. Okay. Well, when you renew your vows, don't invite them because they messy as hell. Well, I would, I, I mean, I, I would never invite Shanique. Why a would I? Amen. Why? I mean, well, here's the thing about Shanique. I'm going to keep it real. Shanique was actually, you know, she really befriended me. We were cool. I, and I don't hang around doctor's wives. I mean, I hang around doctors. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> I hang around bosses. Okay. Mm -hmm. Not Good that doctors' that. wives aren't bosses, but I hang around women who are Get go getters uh -huh. like me and who mm -hmm. are. That's my crew. <clears throat> so it was very nice to be around Shanique because we did have stuff in common. So I want to I want to I want to talk about that before we get mm -hmm. into your your career. This last sure. thing. Uh, before they showed up, they uh, Shanique and Jasmine were throwing a little bit of shade at yeah. the actual doctor's wives. Now, yeah. you are not one of the doctors on the show. Right. I'm glad to see that you didn't fall into that trap of being messy like that. A doctor's wife. Right. Or you're being labeled. Like, I don't, when I look at the show, <clears throat> I don't look at Asha the doctor's wife. No. When you I look don't at fall them, I look that. at the doctor's wife. Yeah. 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 So I love how you carry yourself. You yeah. have your own story. You have your own thing going. Right. You don't have to hide under his shadow. He's there. We know he's there. Right. Two years. We do know. We know he there. Right. But I love how you just carry your own right. self. So. But that comes with with age. That comes with experience. 
um, that comes with, you know, it's funny because one of my young friends like, girl, why do you just say, you know, when I'm, and I say, you know, I have been that girl. I have been that girl. Y'all, I have been the girl like, that man, no, he didn't, he didn't. Four years, he, what, tell me where, I've been, I've I think we've it, all been right? here, yeah. But where I am now, like, you don't have to fight for what's yours. Right. Like, that dude is in my bed at home. Show him this. And, show him this. You show, show him this. And, 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 and I'll tell you this. You don't have to hold up your ring. Like, I have no desire because he's You mine. know. You don't mm-hmm. have to fight for what's yours. I've, I've learned the older you, you get, just, the less you feel like you need to explain. And what's, under, and what's understood don't have to be explained. Exactly. So That just sums it up. I, <laughs> exactly. No, no, I just... Yeah. I live by that. I, and I'm going to be honest with Shanique. The Shaniques of the world, I, I'll be, as a sorority girl... And this is going to be the probably the most crude thing I'm going to say. I've stumped out a thousand Shaniques in my lifetime. Did you have your letters on? Both. Oh. With letters or with that. And what I mean by that, <laughs> women who oh. have tried me, I, I've, I've done it. I've had the Shaniques who hate on me and yo man. I've, so now at my age, I'm like, okay. So, I mean, I, I, it's just, it's not, she's not a formidable opponent. What did Cardi say? After a certain age, being petty just means you're miserable. Yeah, yeah, pretty much, pretty much. So yeah, I want to transition. Right. So, you know, you've given up the days of stomping people out. You go into the days of our lives. Audition. Well, I might have to stomp her out. I will. Let me, let me say. And if you do. Uh-oh. Are we going to see Because I don't want you to be like, she said she won't. Like, and now I might have to stomp her out. No, no, no. If you do, we won't blame you. We'll but, back you up. But I want to talk about your acting career. Mm. So you have been in Hollywood now, what did you say, 13 15, years? 15 girl, 15 years. 15. Don't 15. take 15. off them years. No, you've earned, you've earned girl, every bit of it. Years. You've earned every bit of it. So... Your audition, Mm -hmm. um, the meeting for Days of Our Mm -hmm. Lives, you brought up something really great, and Mm -hmm. I'm glad that you brought it up. How hard has it been over your career to find the right kind of roles and find the right kind of roles Mm -hmm. and and advocate for yourself once you're in those roles to not be the stomp you out, sassy, (gasps) neck-rolling black woman? Well, how long we got? We got enough. Okay, I'll I'll, I'll make it short. Um... I think because I've had to take things in my own hands and executive produce my own show and write and learn how to write a script and, and, and produce it, um, I look, I'm look. I'm in a different place. So I'm looking at the writing. I'm looking at the notes that I'm getting as an actor probably a little differently. Mm-hmm. So all that to say, and by the way, he was very nice to me. Like, I, like he is amazing. I want to say that because I feel like it came through that he was being mean. He was... He is the executive producer of Days of Our Lives, the longest running soap opera. Yeah, so cool. I, 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 I'm just so happy that you know I had that opportunity. However, for me, it's been important to have a good team around me. I have people I can trust. Mm-hmm. Um, many of them in this room. Many, you know, they they ride with me. You know, um, mm-hmm. but you just have to you you have to a know who you are. You have to know how the world perceives black women, mm-hmm. and you have to know who you are and how the world values and devalues black women because that is translated on screen and in the script. So, and I have to be able to still do it so I can get the job. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? I can't be like, I, that's sassy. I'm not doing that. You know? yeah. yeah. And I may not work. Right. <laughs> right but I, yeah. I have to bring choices that they're like, that they didn't know. Right. That they're like, oh, that's not sassy, but that's a different take. We like it. So, it, and being it, helps. it, so it has, you have to be thoughtful. So, you know? so when you, when you look at your mm-hmm. career mm-hmm. and, and everybody has a mentor, somebody that, that sews into them and that you, you go to them when you're frustrated, who has been that woman in Hollywood for you that's been, just unconditional with her love, support, and advice. You know, Debbie Allen is someone that I look to. Um, you know, she, she, when you have an example, it tells you that you can do it. Absolutely. It validates your dream. Exactly. And a Debbie Allen existing validated my dream. She was a professor at Howard, Howard alumni. Um, she was not my professor, per se, but I, I stalked her, um, basically, <laughs> yeah, in short. She, um, I literally walked her to class every day, begged to get in the class. She said, no child, girl, no child, girl, no child. I said, no, because <laughs> her and her Miss Miss Rashad were teaching, and I just walked her every day. You know, that's I walked awesome. her, and that's and that's how I, I got a relationship with her. She's <clears> in my series, Milk and Honey. Um, so hmm. somebody like that who has done what I mean, Debbie Allen has single handed like Barack Obama called her a national treasure. She is. She's Definitely. one of these people who doesn't get. I don't think that all the accolades she deserves, but she not only she has probably uh, most of the people of color women on on screen that you see, mm-hmm. Debbie Allen has done something to help them. Absolutely. So I just feel privileged that, um, you know, that I kept walking her every day. Yeah. <laughs> and I kept begging. I mean, you know, and I remember that day that she looked for me. And that's when I knew because I, I got, almost gave up. And I saw her from my dorm get out of her car. And I was like, forget it. She doesn't. She don't want to. You know what? This is, uh, you know, I'm, I'm embarrassing myself. And I saw her look around. Yeah. Aww. For me. And I said, oh. 
That's awesome. You know, so I would say Debbie Allen. Okay, I like that. that. Now, I I hate asking this question, but I have to. You know, you're on this show now. I'm sure certain opportunities are starting to open up even Mm -hmm. more. Mm -hmm. What would be the dream role? Ah. What what would be the dream role? I want to know that. Well, you know, I I, I don't mind being in the next summer blockbuster movie. Absolutely. You know, I I also don't mind being on the next hit series. Oh, series with What's your an favorite? S, you know, I, I would love to say, well, she's on that show and that show. How they do that? You know, she's she's um, out here working. You know, I would love I, I wrote a film. You know, I would love, you know, I submitted it to Sunday. You know, I have all these, you know, uh, I just can't wait to be able to not only put myself on, but mm-hmm. it's so many of my friends who are like me, who've been in L.A. for 15, 20, 25 mm-hmm. years, super talented, uber talented. And I would love to say, hey, girl, mm-hmm. you working Wednesday? Mm. Oh, girl, I got this deal with CBS. I love you. You know, that's what I can't wait to do. Because yeah. we're we're out here. We're talented. I just represent a small portion of us. Absolutely. No, I, I, I respect I what you do. That, and, yes. and I hope to see you getting even more work. And, and, and I love to see people starting to manifest yeah. what they've been sowing. It takes so. time. It definitely takes time. It takes time. But you're definitely inspiration, especially. It takes time. Yes. You are an inspiration. You you're are. also hair inspiration. So this is like my <laughs> random question of the day. I, I've been looking at it all night. Honestly. I've been looking at your hair. And I've been watching your hair on the show, right? So you switch up your hair a lot. <clears throat> mm-hmm. What is your hair secret? Because I see you pull it back, and it's like, oh, that's really her hair. Like, because, you know, not all of us can pull it up. Yeah. Because you track. You, it's you know. true. Um, it's all mine. I, I will say that I've had a hair journey. I had the big chop. You know, I had the relaxer. I ha- I've had it all. I think... And this might be too deep, but it goes back to I actually had to love, start to love myself. Mm-hmm. And once I loved myself, I loved how my hair grew out my head. Mm-hmm. And I wasn't trying to alter it because when you alter it and change it, yeah, I love to straighten it and stuff. But ultimately, I love it so I don't damage it. The damaging comes because you don't love. So when you see them edges, mm-hmm. some people on the show have this. Um, the you edges. Know what? I think I know who you're referring to. The edges to. are all broken off. And that's a manifestation, and this might be deep, of how you feel about yourself because you don't love yourself. Keep up mm-hmm. an image. Right. And you're trying to alter. You know you shouldn't be putting the, that ponytail, that tight girl. But if you love your hair, you won't do that. You know mm-hmm. what? You, a lot of women, I have friends. I have friends and family who would never walk around with their real hair. Ever. I got well, I, and that's I, and here's the thing. I'm all, I wore weave before. I'm not I'm not a hater like weave. I I love it all. But the issue is if if you can't do it, if if you think it is your beauty, because I do it all, girl. I have a ponytail, but that's the issue, and that's where I had to get with myself. Be comfortable with who you are in my twenties and thirties, where I said, well, Asha, you don't well, because if you love yourself, this, let me tell you, these naps, but the people like to say, the kitchen. Look, it's, it's all a blessing. Me. It's all I mean, me. Have beautiful hair, and I no, no, but they, they. And when I was in elementary school, they, oh girl, look at the, the yeah. kitchen. You got a kitchen in that bag. You know all those things. They, <laughs> they torment you. They do. Yeah. It's like you have yeah, PTSD as a black woman. So I would say you have to love yourself first, and then all of a sudden, my hair, my skin, because I love it, and I take care of it in a different way. You you are I like fine that. wine is that, for sure. Is that too deep? No, no, no. no that's, that's, that's what we that, needed that to hear. That yeah. was perfect. And and how do you think? Has hair impacted your your journey in Hollywood? How has oh. hair, that's a good one, you know, played into that Hollywood journey? Man, this is this is a whole. We should can we do another episode? Because you're, you're, you're always you're um, always welcome here. You're always welcome here. You're our third panelist deep. now. Oh really? Yep. Hi, this is Asha with After Buzz <laughs> TV. Check us out now. Um, I was a broadcast journalism theater major at Howard. Ooh. Um, sure what? But we gotta talk. But um. <laughs> Well, I'll say so. Yes, um, a lot of my friends, people who are even working more than me, I hear. Well, that's what I mean. I just run into my friend who's uh, an actress on a, a, a major show, and we talked about this: how the women they do not in the hair and makeup room they do not know how to do our hair. Mm-hmm. I mean, this happened to me on a show I worked on, and they were like, "Oh, well," and I had to go do it, and then I look crazy, and then you, and then you look crazy on the show, and everybody's tweeting, "Girl, why your hair look like you know?" <laughs> Wow, no, that's a real key. We you know never I mean? so know. It, it is it is a hard um, thing because we don't have people on set who know how to do our hair. Right. We have wow. some, but who are you? Because to be on set, you have to be in the union. It's all these. So it's a, it's a different thing. And to get roles, people think that, oh, the sexy girl doesn't have natural hair. Right? Only the police officer does. No, right? the sexy yeah. girl clearly so, has natural hair. Ow. Get no. into so, that seriously. Though. Yeah, so it's been a you. You have good. Y'all have some good questions. No, I mean, look, mm. we we really? we don't know if you'll if you'll be back. If you know next week, you're gonna be off to you know uh, Cannes and France and doing all. I mean, speaking, honey. We, we <laughs> have to ask the questions while you're here. Are you here? here? You Keep know? speaking, honey. I yes. will say. I will say this. After Buzz TV has been known to host 
the folks before they really, really, really blow up. Really? So I'm just I'm speaking this over you. Y'all got something I can touch, bro. Like us. I got a I got a plastic <laughs> after buzz okay. cup. Yes, the know, mic, all of that. Shout out to your Oscars, to your Emmys, oh, to your Tonys, yes, to all of it. Yes, thank you for blessing us. Being your fans. Yes, thank you for blessing us. I received that sword. Thank you. I yes. I received that. Go with you know, I'm and, I'll your make, fan. and I'll make sure that I won't forget you. Absolutely. Amen. So so <laughs> obviously we know that we can see you every you know episode of Married to Medicine. We yes. can see you on Wednesdays on Fox. And you can see me a part of Shanique's storyline. Mm. Get into She's that. Don't stay there. Yeah. She didn't give you a check yeah. for that. Yeah. Tell her you don't I'm actually, I actually, I actually am her story guy. So you can definitely check me out on Mary Yeah, we'll catch all you, of that you team. Are. You definitely. My are. husband and I. So what about social media? <laughs> you know, it. your production companies. Just give give the fans anything and everything on how they can keep up with um, you. I am Asha Kamali on all platforms. Okay. Um, and I, you know, I'm just constantly uh, doing things. I'm constantly improving myself I mean my husband is a part of a hair care family they've been in business for 75 years the first oh. black uh, distributor in Kansas City so I'm gonna be doing some stuff with Blankenship Beauty okay. follow Blankenship Beauty um, you know I'm just I'm a writer I'm a producer I'm an actor so I'm always creating things Milk and Honey we're working on that we just wrote a whole season um, and check Love me out it. on Star on Fox yes. um, what Oh, Wednesday. Yes, Wednesday. Yes. <laughs> I, I miss you. We'll be back, baby. Yes. Wonderful. And Aunt Jenny. Shout out to Tammy Mack, who plays Aunt Jenny. But And Kiki Palmer, she'll be on as well. Mm. Um, so, yeah, that's Well, we that's wish all. we wish you nothing but the absolute best of course. on your journey. I appreciate Absolutely. that. Absolutely. Nothing but love and, here. And Sierra, where can they find you in between today so, and next Sunday? Yeah, so you know you can find me everywhere at Sierra Stafford by Instagram, Sierra Brene, and my Twitter, Sierra B. Stafford, okay? So just tune in. I do watch, so to go follow. Absolutely. Yes. And you know where you can find me. You can find me when sports and pop <laughs> culture you. collide at McCall Hall of Fame on Instagram. And check out After Buzz TV across the board at After Buzz TV. Mm -hmm. And we're on YouTube, YouTube Spotify, iTunes. Give us oh. all those five stars. And of course, go like and leave your comments on YouTube. We do read them and shout you out. So go do that. So how do I apply to be an After Buzz host? What's, what's the check? Trust for? me. You they know, you're they pay better member. at Married to Medicine. You don't oh. want to come oh, here. Oh, I'm good then. Hey, good. it's been another week of Married to Medicine on After Buzz <laughs> I'm TV. Good. I'm going home to get me some rest. Yeah. This no is more. the wonderful Asha, and we'll see you guys <laughs> next week. Yeah, say no more. Bye, guys. Bye. Our founder, Kevin Undergaro, and me, Maria Menunos, would like to thank you for tuning in to AfterBuzz TV. Remember, we're not just the first, we're the biggest in the world, and we're the only destination for all your favorite TV shows. Whatever you crave, we've got it. So go to AfterBuzzTV.com and check out our lineup. Buzz you later. <laughs> The views expressed herein are those of the hosts only and do not necessarily reflect the views of AfterBuzz TV or its owners or principal. 